Venom 2, Spider-Man, and Carnage details revealed. Despite the rumors last week that Disney might try to outright buy the film rights to Spider-Man and his world of characters from Sony, it appears this is not stopping Sony from moving forward with their plans for the next chapter in the Venom series. New details are emerging about the Goo Man sequel that should have any fan of the old webhead crawling up the walls in excitement because it involves two of Venom's biggest comic book nemeses over the years, Spider-Man and Venom's gooey offspring, Carnage. So let's bring Break down all of the news right now. To start things off, of course, we knew that Carnage was a foregone conclusion based on how he was teased out for the Venom sequel. During Venom's mid credit sequence, Eddie Brock visits the prison holding the future host of Carnage, the serial killer Cletus Cassidy, played by Woody Harrelson in one of the most outrageous wigs known to man, which is an obvious setup for Carnage appearing in a sequel. However, beyond that, nothing else was really known. But thanks to a new report from Deadline, not only will Carnage appear in the Venom sequel, but Carnage's girlfriend, Shriek, will also face off against Venom as well. Now, if you haven't dragged out your long boxes in a while, Shriek, aka Frances Barrison, made her first appearance in Spider-Man Unlimited number one back in 1993 as a part of the Maximum Carnage storyline, which saw various villains allied with Carnage as they ran amok murdering people in New York. Shriek has the ability to manipulate sound waves, which definitely will put her at an advantage when fighting Venom. While in the comics she is a mutant, Sony will have to most certainly retcon that part of her backstory. So what can we infer from this? I don't know. Well, we don't yet think Venom 2 will be an adaptation of Maximum Carnage, since that would mean introducing too many heroes and villains for one film, especially since Sony still has yet to fully flesh out their universe of Marvel characters. However, we could see parts of the story Story, making it into the new Venom film, with Carnage and Shriek teaming up to take down our favorite symbiote and his host, Eddie. And by lightly introducing the character in this sequel, it would help set up a Maximum Carnage event for Sony that they could then pay off later with a massive team-up film in the vein of an Avengers Infinity War slash Endgame. But from Carnage's chaotic evil, we head to the other end of the alignment chart with the new rumors regarding Spider-Man's appearance in the next Venom film. While doing press for Zombieland Double Tap, the director of the first Venom, Ruben Fleischer, had this to say to fandom about the possibility of Eddie Brock and Peter Parker finally meeting in a Venom film. That's where it's all going to lead, and that's the exciting thing, because we changed the origin of Venom. In the comics, he evolved from Spider-Man, but because of the Marvel-Sony thing, we weren't able to do that. And so the thing I think it's building towards, and will be exciting to see, is when they actually do confront each other. While Fleischer is not directing Venom 2, that's falling to Andy Serkis, Fleischer setting up Venom for Sony does mean he has a pretty good idea of what direction Sony wants to take the character. And of course, Sony wants the biggest characters they own the rights to to face off ASAP to really cement their universe of Marvel characters. Well, what better way than to debut Spider-Man in Venom 2? However, we really can't see Spider-Man playing a huge role in the second Venom flick. The goo guy's got a lot on his plate between Carnage and Shriek, and debuting too many characters at once could water the whole thing down. It's more likely that Peter Parker will appear in a cameo role to tease out a confrontation in a later film down the line. Perhaps Pete's visiting colleges out on the West Coast and briefly gets embroiled in a fight involving Venom and Carnage. Then he swings away into the sunset, leaving their paths to cross again in the future. Since Venom 2 is rumored to be coming out in 2020, and we know Holland's Spider-Man will still appear in two upcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe films, this certainly puts Kevin Feige's quote about Spider-Man having the power to jump between universes in a new light. Not only will he eventually switch universes entirely from the MCU to Sony's universe of Marvel characters, but it appears likely that for a time he could appear in both simultaneously. We'll just have to wait and see exactly how Spider-Man will be integrated when Venom 2 hits theaters next year. But what do you folks think? Do you want to see Spider-Man and Venom 2? Are you excited to see Carnage and Shriek team up against Venom? And who has the worst wig in comic movie history? Woody Harrelson as Cletus Cassidy, Nick Cage as Johnny Blaze, Kate Mara as Sue Storm, or Jessica Alba as Sue Storm? Let's discuss. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, why not give us a like and subscribe? If you want to get notified every time we go live with a show or drop a new video, feel free to mash that little bell so you can be up to date on all the latest theories, news, and rumors in the pop culture world.